Yo, what is up everybody? Machiavelli here, and I'm actually bringing you guys a pretty special video today. I am here with my girlfriend right now, and we are going to do the 7,500 subscribers questions and answers video. As I promised, I'm bringing her along for the ride, and she's going to go ahead and answer a couple of these questions as well. So I'll go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Nikki, and I'm just... It's about time I'm finally in a video. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I remember FaZe Rain introduced it's his girlfriend, and that's probably the most awkward thing I've ever seen. So my goal here is to have a less awkward girlfriend than Rain. And uh, you kept begging me not to be awkward. Yeah, I feel and like I'm, this try I'm thing trying really awkward. hard. But uh, we'll okay. try to make this as least awkward as possible. And uh, with that being said, let's just go ahead and get straight into the first question. I got quite a few of them, honestly. So uh, if I don't answer your question, sorry about that. Like I said, I got a ton of them, but we're gonna try to answer as many as we can in like the seven or eight minutes we have. All right. So the first question was asked by Catcher two four six eight. And the question was, who's your favorite YouTuber? Now, I watch a ton of YouTubers. I watch Scumpy, Rain, Adapt, FaZe has all kinds of people, like probably at least seven or eight. And I have to say, my favorite YouTuber is honestly FaZe Adapt. I don't know, just the way he cuts his commentaries, it just seems like chill commentaries. He's a pretty funny guy, and uh, he kind of, he reminds me of myself a little bit. But I actually started getting my girlfriend to watch FaZe Adapt's videos as well. She plays Call of Duty, so she, I mean, she obviously knows what she's watching and Adapt mainly plays Black Ops 2 which is what she plays so uh, she enjoys his videos and uh, with that being said you guys pretty much know the answer but go ahead and explain who your favorite YouTuber is. Okay well you just stole my answer so obviously Phase Adapt is my favorite one because you guys are twins and I really like his I like his Q&A's and I like his A Day in the Life videos. Adriana and Adapter relationship goals all be honest. Yeah, they're pretty much the same as us. Like, so you literally tell me like every single day that I remind you of Adapt. I, I sound the same as Adapt. You guys are you guys look alike. You guys sound alike. I'm not the only. Yeah, I've had people literally that, comment though. saying that I look and sound like Adapt, and I don't know. I'm pretty sure that that is like the biggest compliment I could ever get. Not that I think Adapt looks like hot or anything, but I mean he is pretty cute. Um, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. But seriously, a lot of people do say I sound like him and I look like him, and that's pretty cool. Hopefully, one day Adapt will recognize my videos and we can be twin video makers. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, Twinsies. enough awkwardness. Let's go ahead and just get on to the next question. So the next question was just for me, and that was by X Movement X on Twitter. He asked, "Am I ever going to live stream now?" Short answer to that is yes. I would love to live stream someday. As it is, I'm still in college right now. I don't have a ton of time to live stream. But someday I really do want to live stream. I mean, I would I would live stream for like 10 hours a day if I had the time, and hopefully I will do that sometime in the future. But keep an eye out for that. Live streams will come eventually from me. And uh, on to the next question. Okay, so the next question was asked by Max Hernandez on Twitter, and that was, what Call of Duty would you like to see after Black Ops 3? And that's honestly quite a while ahead. I don't know, Black Ops 3 is going to take a year. We haven't even seen pretty much the reveal trailer for that, so I don't know how good that game is going to be. But I'm kind of scared, because after Black Ops 3, Infinity Ward gets another chance at making Call of Duty. And if you guys did not know, Infinity Ward was responsible for Call of Duty Ghost. In my opinion, the worst Call of Duty in history. I mean, that game pretty much killed Call of Duty. There was like 20,000 people playing. And I swear, there are more people playing Black Ops 2 to this date than people were playing Ghost in its prime. So I'm kind of scared to see what they come out with. I really hope that it is... Probably Modern Warfare 4 is what I would want. Definitely not a Ghost 2. I really wasn't even that big of a fan of Modern Warfare 3 just because of the death streaks. But if they cleaned some things up and kind of came out with a better version of Modern Warfare 3 for the next Call of Duty that they made, I would be okay with that. Definitely okay with that. But uh, my girlfriend might as well answer this too, so go ahead. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I hated Ghost, and I did not like MW3 as much, so I would probably say... Advanced Warfare 2, even though I still haven't played that game. Yeah, she's watched me play Advanced Warfare, but uh, she will not get an Xbox One, so... I, I'm, I'm working on it. And she'll probably she'll probably get it right as Advanced Warfare ends, which which may or may not be the best of Call of Duty ever created, so you're missing out on that. No, I'll still get it. We're still gonna play one day. <laughs> okay, well... And, and, and you'll see how great I am. Yeah, she's amazing, guys. She's just quite the .8 KD player. Why did you just tell everyone my KD? She claims she's better than me, but she has like a 0 .8, 0 .9. It was the first COD like I really got into, and like it just won't go up. There's just something wrong with the game. Yeah, the obviously. game's broken. The game's clearly broken. But uh, anyways, next question. All right, so the next question was asked by Rex Advanced, and he asks, "How did you start your Call of Duty career, and are you proud of where you made it today?" And at the very beginning of I don't know what you want to call it, maybe my Call of Duty career, if that's really what you want to call it. But my mother would not let me play. She did not like the idea of going into a video game and shooting and killing other people for fun. And so I, I begged her and I begged her for years. And I was like maybe 11 or 12 at the time. So obviously that's a little bit young to be playing Call of Duty. 
and eventually my stepdad said he would get me Call of Duty 3. So he got me Call of Duty 3, I played it over and over, and I just played the campaign because I did not have, you know, my PS3 hooked up to the internet by then. But I got bored of the campaign eventually, and I told him, I was like, hey, I'm like 13, 14, now I don't know what the age was, but I asked if I could just get Call of Duty Black Ops because it was just coming out, it was 2011, and I got it for Christmas, so I was a Christmas noob. But they got that for me, they finally accepted it, and I played in my room all the time, I love that game. Black Ops was one of my favorite Call of Duties ever. And I mean, I played with kids from school, everyone would always make fun of me and give me a hard time because I would play the game like 7-8 hours a day just because I loved it so much and it was really the first person shooter that I kind of, it was, you know, the only one that I ever really got into. So, I was just absolutely addicted to it, I absolutely loved it. And I mean, ever since there I just played a lot, I got good at it, I mean, I started doing GBs a little bit. And I made a name for myself there and then I started this YouTube channel and I've grown up from there and uh, I'm pretty proud, 7,500 subscribers, so we're moving along. Things are looking great, and uh, I mean, the only place I can go up from here is pretty much up at this point. But uh, let's go ahead and just, where, how did you get into Call of Duty? Um, so I would go to my cousin's house a lot, and he had like all the platforms, and we would play like, I think, MW3 a little bit, and then World at War, we kind of played a little bit of that. And my dad wouldn't let me obviously get an Xbox or COD, because it was a shooting game. And he said it was a boys game, and I couldn't play it because I'm a girl. And eventually, I think I was 16, and then eventually I just convinced my parents to get me one because I was 16, and my grades were really good, so they just got me an Xbox, and my first game was MW3. I didn't really like it that much because at the time, I think Black Ops 2 came out, and then, like in December, I got Black Ops 2, but that was before Christmas, so I wasn't a Christmas noob like you. Yeah, okay, nice point eight, Katie. Anyways... <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today's Q&A though. I'm really sorry if I missed your question. We really didn't get to answer as many as I thought we could since we were both talking. But I have another Q&A coming up for 10,000 subscribers when that hits. So if I didn't answer your question now, I'll try to answer it then. But uh, with that being said, I'll let my girlfriend do the outro for the day. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below and hopefully you'll see me in more videos if chance lets oh, me. Nailed it. We got it. Nailed it. Seriously though guys, I will see you guys all for tomorrow's upload and uh, you guys are the best honestly, you really are.